as we know this is our 3d model we which we have now for the ease purpose let me delete this topo surface i don't need uh, required right now next as i know the step number one is we need to create a path for the walkthrough either in the ground floor or in the site so i'm going to choose the ground floor so next go to view and then under 3d view you can select walkthrough option so click on walkthrough and then you can see the offset height for the camera is 1750 standard height for the eye and then you can see the cursor is in now creation mode so now i will one by one i will click the element and i will define the path for my walkthrough so in general right now i would like to create my walkthrough starting from this entrance then i will go inside to the reception and then from here i will go to this particular classroom and then i will turn back so let's start creating this one so starting from the first point then this is the second point here then we have the third point the camera will move now so now we are entering into the reception area then our next point so just remember whenever you make a click it will create a keyframe there so now i will take a turn again next <coughs> i'm going to enter in, into the class into the computer lab and then i'll go here inside again and then i will make a turn and then again back and let's suppose i would like to stop my walk through here so once done i can click on finish walk through so once done now let's suppose you would like to change the camera so for this we can select the cam uh, walk through path and then click on edit walk through once you click you can see all this red circles which you see here are the keyframes so now revit automatically it created 300 frames so what i'm going to do let me go to frame number 1 which is in the starting so now you can see in frame number 1 i have my keyframe here you you can see this is the main keyframe so i can adjust the direction of the camera next once done we can go to the next keyframe so once i go to the next keyframe now i would like to make a little bit of turn here then let's go back again to the next keyframe so the camera should now point towards the door and then again next keyframe so i guess here it looks little perfect now next so now we are taking a little bit of turn so i'll move the camera direction towards the left side and again this time the camera will move straight towards the door now let's go back to next keyframe again i guess this is looks fine so again next keyframe so now you see once i enter my my door uh, my camera should move towards the classroom and now it should point straight towards the window once it is done it should take now a little bit of turn and then again a next keyframe <coughs> it should take now a bit of turn and then it should start coming out and then let me drag it towards the door and now completely outside and then pointing towards the reception area so we are done with this now once it is done if you would like to check how the camera or how the walk through is looking like i can go to the open walk through option and once you can see here this is the walk through so let's adjust the window region i we can expand it and make it look little bit more wider once done let's go and change it change the visual style and detail level so let's make the detail level fine and visual style as realistic 
So now you can see, if I select the window, I can go to edit walkthrough again and let me go to the frame number one. So this is the frame number one. I can make it something like this. I guess it is a bit up. All right, so let's see how it looks like. So let's select it and then let's modify this and then try to play it. So now you can see we are going inside the reception area. This is the reception area. Now we are entering inside the computer lab. So this is our computer lab. Now we are taking a turn and then again back. Now, once this is done, now the next step is you would like to export this walkthrough as a video. So for that, we can go back to file and then go to export click on this drop down arrow and then select images and animation and then select walkthrough. Once you click on walkthrough, it will show you this walkthrough settings. Now, what is the dimension you would like? Let's keep the same dimension as we have created here. And then total time, you can see it's going to take 20 seconds to complete this walkthrough. So let's suppose if I increase the number of frames, then the number of uh, the time will decrease so if I make it 15 it will be 20 seconds so I guess 20 second is fine so once it is done let's click on ok I'm I want to save it as a AVI file so let me go back and create a new folder walkthrough video and then save so now you can see I would like to compress it okay and now you can notice here it's exporting this walkthrough as a video so now we are entering into the reception area it is also possible to export this walkthrough as a rendered image but I would not advise unless and until you have a very high configuration of system so once it is done let's go and see how the video is created so I can go back and then let's go to Revit and then to our project walkthrough video and let's open it with the AVI player <coughs> I can use the VLC so you should see the time total timing for this animation is 20 seconds So that's it. So this is how you create walkthrough in Revit. Thank you very much.